the 60 yard bunker shot. It's one of those enigmas that people just can't figure out. When I see clients do it, they're blading over the green or hitting it fat. I'm gonna show you how to perfect this shot so you can hit it close to the hole. So when we face a shot that is too far to splash it out of the bunker, but we really aren't doing a full swing, it's usually those 60 to 70 yard shots where we wanna go back to our 58 degree or lob wedge. You could also use sand wedge. Um, because we're going to be hitting the ball first. And if we have too little loft, this ball is going to go sailing. So I've chosen my 58 degree for the 65 yard bunker shot. And it's not a green side shot, so we're not going to be setting up the same way. Remember, when we do a green side shot, we're going to be wide and pressure left. In this shot, there's a couple differences that I want to make very clear. One, normal stance um, with a wedge. I'm gonna put the ball a little bit back. Remember, the key is I have to hit the ball first in this scenario. If I hit the sand first, this ball is going in that other bunker. Another way to shorten the radius of the club to ensure I hit the ball first is to choke up a little bit. And then lastly, I am going to lean a little bit left, pressure about 60, 65% of my lead side, again, to ensure that if I do hit the sand, it's later. Okay, here we go. Again, I'm almost thinking that I'm going to hit this shot thin. 65 yard shot. I'm going to show you a way to just check where you're contacting the sands. I'm going to go kind of perpendicular to my target line. I'm going to put that line right there. As long as I hit in front of that line, the contact with the ball should be fine. So I'm going to set up again, remember, normal wedge stance, pressure left, choke up just a touch and then make sure that we hit the ball first. Beautiful. Ah, lovely. So the next time you're in this 60 yard bunker shot, I want you to have your pressure left, choke up on the club a little bit, and make sure that you hit the sand after the ball. Hit the ball first, and you too will have really good shots, just like that last one.